ist unvermeidlich. Lauf schon! Du hast sie gespürt. Die Macht. Ich habe nie Macht besessen. Noch hatte ich je den Wunsch, welche zu erlangen. No, it's it's such an inspiring, wonderful opportunity and, and a privilege, much more than a burden. But um, it comes with a um, a certain level of requirement in 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 both doing the legend justice and hitting the requirements that people would expect, but also reimagining it and, and doing something fresh, because obviously it's a story that's been told many times before and we had to make him feel original. And in, in within that, within the um, necessity to reinvent, it leaves a lot of room for us to imbue in his story with some of the things that Guy and I were interested in exploring in our own lives. So I think the thing with me, with playing any character, whether he's fictional or a real person, is that the language of film is universal. So you, you th if, if you make something personal, the things that are important to me as an actor, hopefully will be relevant to you as an audience goer because ultimately we're all on the same journey so you know that that's the that's the fundamental thing is that you have to try to make it as personal as possible it's, it is a pop culture version of him but still the essence of the story is 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 almost primordial it's it's about asking the big scary questions of what is the meaning of life and how do we create purpose and ascend to the greatest version of ourselves, which is why I think it endures, because it's talking about the human condition rather than, but then you dress it up with pop culture, in a pop culture costume and give it a pop culture swagger and all of a sudden it's accessible. Those um, ancient narratives and themes are accessible to uh, or relatable to a younger generation. The, the once in, in terms of uh, in literature, it was the once and future king. But um, in um, for the, my first exposure to it was um, John Borman's Excalibur, uh, which was a film that was made in 1981. And as I actually just watched it for the first time. I didn't want to watch it again before we shot this because I wanted to keep our perception of what we were trying to do fresh in my mind. Um, but. It was a film that I'd seen 50 times as a child, and that's not an exaggeration. I'd literally seen it 50 times. Um, and so I, I gave it a spin again recently, uh, and by recently, I mean literally like five days ago. Um, and uh, it really holds up, it's exciting. Und dafür der ganze Wirbel. Keine Sorge, du wirst bald verstehen, wofür der ganze Wirbel ist. Hast du Angst? Ich komm schon zurecht. Du solltest Angst haben. Egal wie, bringt ihn um! Wenn's mich erwischt, dann folgt ihm. Wenn's ihn erwischt, dann folgt mir. Er soll groß werden, dann fordere ihn mit etwas Großes. I don't think he had specifically an actor in mind who he wanted to hire. I just think he was um, pretty clear that he didn't want to hire me. Uh, and I had to convince him um, that that would be a grave mistake on his part. So, um, so yeah, I, I, uh, I really just demanded that he have a cup of tea with me so that we could get to know each other as, as chaps. And I still, honestly, I didn't think he was going to give me the role because he didn't seem like a man who was particularly um, open to being coerced. But uh, I, 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 I did it elegantly and um, subtly, and he uh, he ended up succumbing. So yeah, it was a happy tale in the end. But you know, life's it's a very competitive business, and life's tough. So you got to fight for what you want. Go on, ask me one more question. Uh, no, in fact, um, in in real life, I've uh, I've had to um, uh, defend myself once before with a machete, but. Thankfully, I didn't actually have to hit the chap with it. I got broken into one night, and I threatened the uh, would-be burglar with a machete. And, uh, and I would have hit him with it, although I wasn't relishing the prospect. But he saw in my eyes that I was serious, that if it was going to go that way, he was going to lose an arm. So, But I, you know, the idea of actually sword fighting is horrendous. 
I mean, can you imagine like having to cut someone's head off or cut someone's arm off? I mean, it's truly barbaric stuff. So, and it also, I just gotten a new carpet, so it would have been terrible for the old housekeeper.